Hi guys, welcome to another video in the series of Simulink modeling. We all know that MATLAB is all about matrix operations. That replicates in the name itself. But how to work with matrices in Simulink? Don't worry we will know in this video. Let's open Simulink. Create a new model. First let's know how we generate a matrix. It's as simple as we did in MATLAB. We make a constant block values as we declare a matrix. To observe its value, we use display block. Now connect it. Run the model. OK, we got it. Now search for a gain block. Connect it in between. With a gain of 3 we multiply the matrix elements. Now run it. Yup, we can observe that every element of the matrix is multiplied with the gain 3. If we look into the gain block, we make doing the element wise operation. We can do matrix multiplication also. Now multiply the input matrix with the gain matrix 1 2. Oops, we got an error. Maybe it's because of matrix dimensions. Change it. Now run the model. Yup, we got it. Now make two different matrices of size 3x3. We will do matrix operations like addition, subtraction, multiplication and element-wise multiplication. Search for add block and connect both the matrices. Run it. Yup we got the addition of the corresponding elements. Now search for subtract block and do the connections. Yup we got it. Check the values. MATLAB is always correct, no need to check it. Now go to math operations and search for a block to do multiplication. We have a dot product block, also we have a product block. Drag it to the workspace. Make the necessary connections to it. What happened? We got the element wise multiplication of the matrices. We can see it here. Now drag it here again. This time make it to do matrix multiplication. Run it. Yup we get the matrix multiplication. You can check it on your own. We have many other blocks which we can use for matrix operations. Now check this square root block. Connect it to first matrix. We can see that the result is a matrix with square root of the input matrix. Now connect the sum of elements block and display the value. Yup we got it. We can do other operations also with these available blocks based on your need. That's all for this video. We will come to you with other video next time. Thank you and sayonara.